Hello. My name is Hyphen von Schneifenauf. For the last seven years, I have been studying the avian variety. And in exchange, I have been taught valuable information. In exchange, I have been taught valuable information about the birds. The birds, they teach many things through the ways they live, through the way they die. They are more intelligent than one would think. No! I told you not to come back here! Get out of here! Get out of here! I am sorry. I have learned many things from the birds. My name is Hyphen von Schneifenlauf, and this is my story. Ow! You're watching Hyphen von Schneifenlauf's Bird Adventures. Today, we'll be looking at bird beaks. What is a bird beak? What does a bird beak do? And how can you use a bird beak to receive free HBO? All of these questions will be answered throughout the video. It is a harsh rain in the jungle. Uh, I am doing my best to find dry shelter. Uh, one of the things I have noticed upon my encounters is that you can identify the birds by their bills. Where is it the beaks? You can learn uh, where it lives, how it lives, and what it lives on just by its beak. Cone shaped beaks. A cone shaped bill is found in many birds, such as finches and grosbeaks. beaks. It's a strong beak used for cracking seeds. Oh, and look, here comes a finch now. As you can see, the finch has an extraordinary beak. Tubular beaks. There are also straw-like beaks, tubular bills, that are found in hummingbirds. They are used to sip nectar, nectar from flowers. Hook-shaped beaks. Uh, hooked beaks. Um, they are used to bite the neck and tear the body into itsy bits pieces, uh, small enough to swallow. These bills are usually found among hawks, owls, and other birds of prey. Flycatcher beaks. Beaks, which are flat and wide at the base, are found in birds which catch insects and fly, such as flycatchers. These birds often also have whiskers at the corners of the mouth, which effectively widens the mouth opening, allowing more effective capture of prey. Mallard beaks. A mallard's bill are fringed so that they can strain plants, seeds, and small animals from mud and water. You might find this on a duck, or a goose, or a mallard. You've just watched Hyphen Van Schneifenhoff's Bird Adventures. Thank you for watching. <laughs> that was crappy. No, you gotta go completely out of the shot. Further. <laughs> it's recording. Yeah, it's recording right now. It's like the shade sign up. Okay, whatever. Get in it's, the tree. It's fine. Get in the tree. You're gonna be able to see him. Get in the tree. Stand up, Eddie. Get in the tree. Stand up, Eddie. No. You're gonna be able to see him when he falls. Yeah, you okay. can see him fine. Over there. He's on the other side of the tree, dude. Did you just throw a grapefruit at me? Yeah, come on, come on, dude. Stand up. Yep. Eat it.
You wanna go, punk? You wanna go? Go eat that water bottle. Ha, ha, ha.